This video contains spoilers for Ghost Recon Wildlands. So this is video number 50 for Ghost Recon Wildlands and I thought I would do something fun with it. Earlier today, the Ghost Recon team tweeted out dialogue from one of the trailers. The one where the team brags about their skill in all terrain and all kinds of situations. It ends with, we are ghosts and we do not exist. This is consistent with the last parts of Bowman's briefing. The ghosts are to bring the Santa Blanca cartel to the ground, but nobody is to know who held the match. The general idea is to let the Qataris 26 rebels get all the credit for taking down Santa Blanca, something they regularly do in their pirate broadcasts. The question is simple. Do the ghosts follow this mission objective to the letter? I don't give a fuck about money, Carzita. I work for the US government. We spend billions of dollars on hand sanitizer alone. Pork barrels, fuckface! So what evidence do we have? Quite a lot, actually. The ghosts certainly does not seem to make any secret to conceal their employer or their identity, going so far as to tell several of their high-value targets who they work for and where they will be extradited. While this may seem harmless to do with people who they have in custody, they also do that, as we just shown you, to influential people they fully intend to turn loose. What the hell are you trying to do? Same thing as you, amigo. Doing what's right for my country. El sueño will die in Bolivian soil. My people must know. The government must know. The other cartels must know. The rebels are not slaves for the Americans. We are strong on our own. That way. At the end of the game, Pakatari betrays the ghost team, turning his rebel forces loose on the special forces sent to help him. This concludes a theme of the rebels as a whole, not just their leader, being fully aware who sent the ghosts who are helping them out. If they deliver you a vehicle, it is usually done with a cheerful HOLA YANKEE, and so on. This is what makes Pak worried. He is afraid people, and his men, will not give his rebel forces due credit for the fall of Santa Blanca, and thus he tries to steal the kill. Unless the American assistance was common knowledge, there would be very little sense for him to do this. Anything else? Before we get started, Agent Sandoval. Yeah. Actually... Do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> when El Sueno wants to forward a message to the ghosts in order to arrange a meeting, he is very clear about the nationality of the people he wished to meet. Never mind that Bowman comments, do you know any other Americans cause havoc? During his interrogation, Ricky Sandoval openly taunts El Sueno about ghosts. Obviously, El Jefe recognized this was simply not an idle comment. When El Muro reports to El Sueno about the status of his newly trained elites, El Sueno sarcastically asks his bodyguard if they can handle ghosts. For some reason, El Muro does not understand, despite the fact that he was in the room when Sandoval made the taunt. Recruits and turn them into elite soldiers that are tougher and better trained than any of the force in Bolivia. Nothing will ever fucking stop him. Nothing, El Muro. Not even ghosts. I, I, I don't understand. On the Ubisoft forums, community manager Carrie Bland, aka Ubikiba, defended DLC practices by referring to the ghosts' nationality. Thus, players could only use the US flags and had to purchase the others. While not a lower reason, I want to point out that you can, without laying down any cash, deck out your operator to something that would make a 4th of July celebration turn very awkward indeed. While running around Bolivia like this would be akin to a joke, I do want to point out it is fully possible. 
The entire argument is however futile, since the goal was never to kill El Sueno, but capture him and extradite him to the United States. Makatari knows this, Bowman knows this, and Nomad knows this. This is why El Sueno is simply not shot on sight during the climax of the game. Once a known drug lord disappears and the US starts getting a lot of actionable intel, I am convinced anyone who matters puts two and two together. To cap it all off, there is sufficient proof that the entirety of Bolivia pretty much are aware of the ghost's presence and that they have failed this particular mission objective. Everyone, from villagers to rebels to DJ Perico himself, calls you and your team the gringos, and that is much Mexican for US citizen. The only question left is why El Sueno does not use this as leverage to get the ghost to leave. The Department of Justice does want his intelligence, so why does he not broker a deal to give the DOJ actionable intel in exchange for the ghost leaving while his cartel is actually still intact? I think the answer to that would be pride goes to the whole fault.